First base umpire Laz Diaz happening on the same baseline that Gambo was attacked last year. That's right fielder Brandon Berger getting in there and getting a shot in, it seems. Laz Diaz was seemed to have no issues with dealing with the fan. Let's turn things back over to our baseball tonight crew for discussion, guys. Unfortunately, the ballpark's got a new name, but it's the same old garbage that we see from some fans in Chicago. This was, in fact, the fourth time the game had to be stopped because a fan ran onto the field, this time able to get to first base umpire Laz Diaz, and obviously not nearly as a, uh, a bad situation as we saw with Tom Gambo, who was attacked by two players, last two fans, last September. Your thoughts on any way that this thing can be stopped? Yeah. Mandatory fine, mandatory jail sentence, you go on the field. This just has to stop. It has to stop in every city. Post the signs, post them in, in many languages. Make sure there's no question. You go out on the field, you're going to create a scene. You'll have a lot of time to think about it, and you'll be paying some heavy $10,000, $15,000 fine. Now, Major League Baseball does, has tried to address this problem. You remember, it was a very ugly incident with the Dodgers in Wrigley Field a few years ago, with the, obviously the Gamboa thing last year. They've added cameras in ballparks. They try to identify people who start creeping up. They supposedly add security. Clearly, this was a problem. Now, in the late innings, a lot of times, they, they relax the, the security a little bit. That's when these things do happen. I, you know, I realize it looks bad. I, well, Jerry Reinsdorf cares terribly about this. Sure he does. It, no you know, it's, and this is not to indict everybody in Chicago. But it is a problem here. Maybe you're just going to have to have a lot more security around in the aisles so that people can't go down there you, and not move up to the But it's, it's got to be universal. I mean, obviously, it's stepped out in Chicago here. But you see fans run out on the fields on different ballparks, and people laugh and joke about it. But it is a serious thing, particularly with the time that we're in right now and I agree with Bobby you got to prosecute these people that's why you got the rules there and that's why players are so hesitant to reach out and greet somebody when they're running out on the field you have no idea what their agenda is so you've got to put a stop to this tough to make this jump but college basketball every time things get thrown on there is the threat that something will then happen to the home team lose points football lose timeouts is there any way that something could happen to the the White Sox will have to forfeit if a fan comes on the field. I guess the risk in that is if you have a yeah, royal a fan, fan there. Right, or a yeah. royal fan there. No, I don't think that could work, but I think there are different ways. And I, I, but I do think they're just going to have to spend more money on the security. It's unfortunate, but it's embarrassing. And it, someday it could really be dangerous for some player. There could be some absolute lunatic yep. that could do something to a great player. Monica Seltz. I've already seen it before. Tough players. to control it, fine them, jail them, make it hard, make it known, get them out of there. And let's not forget, folks, July, will be at that ballpark for the All-Star game. You go in, perhaps, with a black eye for some of these fans, unwarranted for most. Obviously, some have problems dealing with reality. Back to you. All right, guys, here, here to all your sentiments. And uh, as for the game, it's just a terrific game, a taut contest throughout, and a lot of lead changes, certainly in the final two innings as well. Full highlights of this game, which uh, is 8-5 to five in favor of the Royals right now, but the White Sox have the tying run at the plate with two outs to go in this game. We will have full highlights. Royals on the verge of going to 11 and 1, Kevin. Unbelievable. Since this happened, as you recall, two Yahoos come out of the stands, drug-addled and crazed, pounding on a defenseless man in his late 50s, and the Royals came out at any rate, in this game, Miguel Asensio hits Frank Thomas early on, and contentiousness comes out. These two teams met in the opening series. Thomas was hit by Asensio, so there's some sort of history here. Top seven in this game. Let's go to it, if we can. 4-3, the White Sox are up, when here comes Raul Ibanez. Another fan has run out on the field. They've had a couple of these guys between innings, and now another guy out there. Fan disturbances again with Tom Gamboa in the park. Frank Thomas, as far as the scoring is concerned, busts up a 4-4 tie in the eighth with a second homer of the year, 5-4 Sox. And would you believe three batters later with Carlos Lee at the plate, the fourth disturbance of the game in which a fan comes out on the field. You could see this guy comes running out and tackles first base umpire Laz Diaz. Brandon Berger, the right fielder, the first guy in to help Diaz. Who's far bigger and more able to defend himself than Tom Gamboa was last year. Plus, let's face it, with all the fans running out on the field, 
tonight as well as last year. I guess you've come to maybe expect this a little bit, Kevin. Which is sad. Uh, so you can see the guy comes running out. Diaz was fine. He's got some military background, so you know he was going to kick some tail here. As did Berger coming in. It's like Bobby Valentine said. They have to give these people jail time and heavy fines, and then the madness will stop. And let everybody know about it as well. And this fan was finally subdued and let off. What a moron. And he looks overserved. Really? There's another issue. Moron. And Gamboa, he's probably sitting there. I can't eat again. I mean, I was watching this game. I thought they were showing a replay of last year. At any rate, Sox up 5-4 in the ninth when Mike Sweeney busts out the whooping stick and the Royals on top, 6-5. And Billy Koch has blown the save and the lead. And later on with the Royals up 8-5, two outs in the ninth. Brent Maine with two runners on, can't handle it, but he hoses out Armando Rios to end the game. Rios arguing, stating his case, but... Mike Sweeney's home run and some solid defense. And again, another save by Mike McDougal, who now has seven on the season. And forget about all the fan madness for a moment. The Royals are now 11 and one on the season. We will attempt to get more post-game reaction from the old Comiskey or the new U.S. Cellular Field, which, US by the way, is, yeah. yes, which is, by the way, the, the home of the, this year's All-Star Game. We will attempt to get more post-game reaction and all the fan disturbances and uh, attempt to hear from Laz Diaz, the first base umpire, as we move on in SportsCenter. ...when a father and a 15-year-old son jumped from the stands and jumped him on the field of play. Tom Gamboa said he didn't give it very much thought in returning to Chicago because, quote, lightning does not strike twice. Well, tonight, and again, the Royals-White Sox game, four different instances of fan disturbances jumping onto the field culminated in the eighth inning when one fan jumped on Laz Diaz, the first, plate ump the first base umpire. And earlier on baseball tonight, Bobby Valentine said these cases have to be prosecuted. And just in case you're wondering, the 15-year-old boy from last year is on five years probation, and the father's case is still pending. So as you might imagine, the White Sox, especially with the All-Star game coming in July, very skittish that lightning struck twice tonight. And a spokesperson for the White Sox spoke earlier tonight. At this point, the White Sox have the following statement. The behavior of the four people attending tonight's game was reprehensible and will not be tolerated. They will be prosecuted to the fullest extent the law allows. The actions of four idiots in no way reflect Sox fans or the fans of Chicago. Laz Diaz, the first base umpire, just in case you're wondering, is okay. Much more on this incident following us on Baseball Tonight. Kevin. Still ahead on Sports Center. You have to figure at this point the Royals getting a little skittish about coming to Chicago. Tony Pena weighs in on the madness and the attack of Larry of the night in the new New Comiskey Park. In the eighth inning, a fan, you see the bottom left hand portion of your screen, jumps out of the stands fourth time during this game that a fan jumped out of the stands. Four times it happened in this game. For the fourth, Certainly the most memorable and the most frightening as the fan tries to take down first base umpire Laz Diaz. Cannot, obviously, a reminiscent of the last time the Royals were in Comiskey Park last September 19th when Tom Gamboa, 55-year-old first base coach, was jumped by two men. This guy, yuts that he is, gets dragged off in handcuffs. As for the game, Mike Sweeney, a two-run shot. The Royals' fourth straight night with a four-run at ninth. But, of course, we're all talking about what happened after. This happened in baseball. And, uh... We see that so many times people jump in the field, but what can I say? People have a couple drink and uh, and they just want to do whatever they, they want to do. You know, and, uh, it's, it is a tr trouble, trouble thing to do and stop the ball and do what it is in that situation.